So hello everyone in this video we will be creating our mongodb database and we will be connecting with that. So basically uh, this is mongodb compass in which our database will be available. So you can see I have other databases as well. So uh, this uh, software is basically the visual or GUI uh, software that uh, shows our databases which are created in mongodb and shows our collections in them so this is a database let's say and inside that we have different collections of that uh, similarly i'll be creating us another database i can click on this uh, new uh, create database or otherwise i can directly uh, connect with a database and uh, mongodb or mongoose will automatically create that in in our mongo or like mongodb compass let me just do this so first of all i'll be going inside an env file and inside here i can specify db url this db url will be uh, the url of the database basically in which we'll be making connections with mongoose so you have to specify that for that if you want to add the local mongodb uh, connection so you have to specify like this which i which i'm doing you can specify mongodb local host and then you can specify the uh, the name of your database otherwise you can use uh, the uh, 0.0 option like 0.0.0, .0 and colon 27 so instead of this 0, 0.0 you can also specify local host that will also work and then after that you can specify the slash and you can specify the database which is already created by you here or otherwise you can uh, directly uh, name any database which you want to automatically be created by mongo so this will be automatically created because it is not available here so if it is not available so it will automatically create that while making the connection but uh, unless it doesn't have uh, the models so it will not create that we have to specify the models and then it will show you that so it will not it, it will connect the database successfully let me just show you that first of all i'll be requiring the mongoose package which we installed earlier right i can specify mongoose here yeah mongoose and now i can uh, connect with the database with the help of mongoose constant which i have and then we have this connect method inside that and i can specify the uh, process dot env dot db underscore url so this will be the url which we specified here in here so it will connect with the database with this database to do uh, in our case it is not created so it will automatically create that database and connect with that but it will not show you in the mongodb compass unless you have some collections inside that like like this to do's and users unless you don't have unless you have that so it will not show you that in the mongodb compass after that you can specify dot then and you can log out that result you can log out this result or you can add a simple log that db is connected simply db connected successfully or anything you can write here after that you can also catch some error if uh, if it fails to connect with the database we can also specify that uh, you can also log this error what is this error and that's it so these lines of code will connect you with the uh, database so you can see it is uh, saying db connected successfully and you won't be able to see that because uh, we don't have any collections or models created in that so to create a collection we'll be uh, using uh, our models so we have to create models here i'll be creating a model and inside that i'll be creating user model user.js and i can require mongoose require mongoose and then i can uh, destructure the schema from the mongoose and then i can specify user schema 
and I can specify new schema and then after that inside that I can specify the fields that I want in this collection basically so this schema is basically the collection that will be creating so this schema will provide the structure to our uh, database I can specify let's say I want a first name in the user schema and that will be a string uh, the s should be capital and then I also want last name I can specify that string and I want username and that uh, should be required so I'll be using uh, the curly bracket and I'll be providing additional fields to that so the type will be the string and uh, it will be required so I'll be specifying required field here and that will I'll make it to true similarly I can copy this line and paste it for the password so this will work now we can you make use of that so I have to create a model and to create a model I will be using the mongoose package again and there is a model method that I can specify and I can specify the model name and then after that I can specify the schema which I created so this user schema and then I can export it module dot exports I can export this user model so if I save it now if I see that it should be available otherwise I have to create the routes so you can see uh, the database name is not available because this model will uh, we are not using this model anywhere so we have to make use of this user model in the routes uh, that will be creating in the next video also we have to specify some other uh, things in this model so that will be doing in the next video thank you for watching let's meet in the next video